Hello everyone, welcome to another review video. Wingfox has, once again, allowed us to check out some of their free courses for this review. This video will cover our opinion on the course, the content of it, and the downloadable content it will include. This course centers on Photoshop, so people who use this software might benefit more. The lecturer is Lee Queed, a senior illustrator who graduated from the China Academy of Art and is currently working for the company Tencent. The course is a total of 12 chapters that are composed of 28 video lessons. All right, with that short intro done, let's begin. As we mentioned before, the course contains 28 video lessons that sum up around four hours of learning material. These chapters are divided into their themes respectively and are always available in their app or website platform. Keep in mind, you can only access these videos there. You cannot download them. Now let's go into the course's resources. In the tab Resources, we have the option to download the file named Project Files. The course includes the images the lecturer uses for his demos. Keep in mind, this course doesn't have the brushes or the PSD files, as it is mostly a theory course. So, the 28 video lessons are divided into 12 chapters. Let's go over a brief summary of what each chapter is about. The first chapter is free for anyone to watch, and it focuses on art style and a realistic approach to architectural design. Now the videos in this chapter are great in our opinion, as the lecturer breaks down the shape language in many examples and explains to the viewer why it works and how to avoid common mistakes like shape monotony and proportion errors. The examples given are very clear, and the lecturer uses quite a few demos to complement the lesson. Overall, a top-notch chapter. The second chapter keeps digging into the foundation concepts the student should understand before they start the designing process. This chapter concentrates on the concept of a solid silhouette and how this will affect the overall design. The lecturer gives very good tips breaking down various examples of building designs and how the overall shape rhythm is key to keep a silhouette interesting. The next chapter concentrates on light and shadow. This chapter is, again, mostly light theory, as the lecturer uses various images from before to show us how light and shadow are placed on the building design. This chapter is important and explains a lot of the key concepts of light behavior, so those who struggle with this topic will find this chapter very useful. The last video lesson focuses on 3D assistance to help visualize light's effect on an object. Lee shows us how he uses the 3D software Blender to quickly model a building similar to his main example, a super useful tool that makes this lesson pure gold. Chapter 4 concentrates on the roof aspect of building design. This is a lesson full of theory about types of roofs found in actual architecture and their structures. In this chapter, Lee analyzes the styles of roofs found in Chinese, Japanese, and Western architecture of the past and breaks down the types of structures used, patterns, and function. Overall, it's a great chapter for those who might not know much about the structure of buildings. Keep in mind, however, these lessons are more focused on analyzing and breaking down photos and finished painted examples. No painting demos are included in this chapter. Chapter 5 concentrates on wall textures and additional elements of the building such as doors and windows. Here, Lee breaks down his art piece to show us how he solved the wall textures by dividing this process roughly into three to four layers. He shows us a quick demo on how he solved the walls and the rooftop of this example. Next, he moves on to auxiliary elements of the building such as windows and doors. He goes into a deep explanation about the structures of windows and doors and their framing. Then he goes into shape and variation examples to continue the lecture, emphasizing that the structure is relatively the same. But we artists can play a lot with the aesthetic of a window or a door to give the building a unique touch. Next, we have a chapter dedicated to water wheels. In this chapter, composed of two video lessons, Lee will break down the structure of the water wheel for us and give us examples of various types of wheels we can use. This chapter is more of a breaking down and analyzing water wheel chapter. Lee doesn't paint or render an actual water wheel for those watching the lessons. He concentrates more on explaining how to accurately draw one, knowing its structure and function. The next chapter concentrates on stairs. The lecturer gives us various examples of types of stairs he used in his painting. As usual, we see him break down the photos to analyze its structure and then move on to his painting, giving small demos on how to properly draw and paint such stairs. Overall, a nice solid chapter. Chapter 8 now focuses on trees. This chapter goes into a deep analysis of the shape of trees and other elements such as rocks or bushes that can complement and adorn the design of a building. 
This chapter doesn't have a lot of demos, but Lee really breaks down the photo examples and gives a good explanation of the concept of force and the shape language that trees have. Such shapes can also be used to better sculpt an adequate composition in our creations. Following up next, we have a chapter dedicated to windmills. Same as before, this chapter concentrates on analyzing the structure of windmills. And then it finishes up with a short demo, very close to the windmill in the final painting sample. Another great chapter that concentrates on one of the aspects of building design. Now on to chapter 10, how to add some artistic elements. In this chapter, Lee talks about three examples of such elements, lanterns, tree blessings, and leaves. These elements can add more realism and detail to our designs. He breaks down the general design and the concept of such forms, and explains to us how we can add them to complement what we already have in our building design. Overall, a great chapter that goes into detail with the various additional elements that make a building's design more appealing than others. Moving on, it's chapter 11. This chapter concentrates on color, and the overall color range we should use to give life to our design. Lee in these lessons talks briefly about color theory, and the color range, how to keep color consistent, and how to choose an appropriate palette. Using the same example as shown, he shows us a short demo on how color affects the mood of the overall art piece, and how we can use this to convey the mood we want. And finally, we have the last chapter, which as its name implies, is a summary of the course. In this chapter, Lee shows us the overall key parts of the course and what to remember, and concludes everything by showing us his portfolio on ArtStation, accompanied with some words about what he recommends next after the course. Alright, now it's time to give our opinion on the course. We will give the pros and cons as usual, so let's begin! The video and sound quality are good! The lecturer speaks in Chinese, so you will likely rely on subtitles. All the videos contain subtitles in this course. The course includes the images the lecturer uses for his demos. Keep in mind, this course doesn't have the brushes or the PSD files, as it is mostly a theory course. No time limit to watch the course. You could take your time and watch this course with no time limits to access it. Perfect course for artists of all levels. We recommend this course to beginners and intermediate artists. The course is especially perfect for those who want excellent tips and info on building and environment design. The chapters are well labeled and the order of content is appropriate. The price is excellent and it is on sale. Currently the course is 41% off. It doesn't work on Opera Browser. It works on Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge while we tested it. Alright, once again we have reached the end of this review. So, do we recommend this course? Yes, the course is great! This course is very different from the ones we have reviewed previously. Lee concentrates more on analyzing and breaking down photos, his own artwork, and other examples to explain the various key concepts of environmental game design. The course is fully subtitled, which is great in our opinion, and if you really like prop or building designs and wish to get better at it, this course is for you. Thanks again for joining us in another Cyan Orange review. We will leave the promo code and the link of the course in the description. And also remember we have a Patreon. You can support our studio and get exclusive content like comics and illustrations. We also recently started a coffee. You can also give us a tip there if you liked our content. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you guys in the next episode.